So one of the things the group is really quite passionate about is development of biomarkers or tests, if you like, that we can perform in patient blood samples that give us some understanding when they go for an early clinical trial of a novel drug, whether that drug has hit the target in the tumour and whether the tumour is responding well or otherwise to that new agent. So we need very simple tests that we can perform in the bloodstream because the patient is very happy to give us a sample of their blood before the new drug and then several times after the new drug treatment. So we can sort of monitor as best we can what's happening inside their tumour. And one of the things we do is we measure circulating tumour cells, so those tumour cells that have left the primary tumour and have gone round the bloodstream and then perhaps lodged somewhere else to, to form a secondary or metastatic tumour. And we would like to really know how many of these circulating tumour cells there are in a patient because that might tell us how quickly they're likely to uh, develop, that the tumour is likely to develop. Um, it might also tell us that the number of circulating tumour cells might tell us a little bit about how likely they are to respond to therapy. And what we can also do is measure those circulating tumour cells. And I have to say that's like looking for needles in haystacks because obviously in the bloodstream, lots and lots of blood cells and we're trying to find perhaps the very few mm -hmm. but very potentially dangerous tumour cells which are in the bloodstream. So if we can monitor that number and we can look at that number before a new drug treatment and then again afterwards, obviously what we'd like to see is that number of circulating tumour cells come down. And that might tell us something about whether that patient is responding well mm -hmm. to therapy. Mm -hmm. So one good example is in small cell lung cancer. Now getting a biopsy from inside a patient's lung before and then lots of times after therapy is really perhaps not practical, perhaps not ethical, really difficult. And the patient obviously would, would have to go through quite an invasive procedure. I presented some, some results on circulating tumour cells in lung cancer. And I also presented some, what I think are really exciting results, uh, again thinking about can we get a tumour biopsy or can we make a, a biomarker, a test measurement in the blood. And it's clear now that for some types of tumour, for example colorectal cancer, if there is a mutation in a particular gene called KRAS, those patients are less likely, likely to respond to a particular drug called cetuximab, for example. Mm -hmm. and the trouble with that is you have to have a piece of tumour to look for that mutation. And what we're finding now is that there is DNA circulating in the blood that's been shed from the tumour. So we can now make measurements to look for those, those mutations, which are oncogenic, tumour promoting, in the bloodstream. And again, that, that saves the patient having to, to give us a piece of tumour. And as long as we get the same result in the plasma and in the tumour, so the data I presented today is we had matched tumour and, and blood sample, and we were getting the same result in both. Now, if we can show it in a large number of patients that that's the case, we might then be able to move into practice where we don't need the tumour biopsy, which at the moment is the gold standard, if you like. We might be able to do a simple blood test and get the result that way. So I think, you know, the pharmaceutical industry and, and the academic researcher like myself, we all have the same goal. We want to get better drugs at the right dose to the right patient as quickly as possible to improve their therapy and, and, and hopefully ultimately cure of cancer. So it's really important because we need to look at these tests in large numbers of patients, it's much easier if we pull together. So what we're doing with AstraZeneca, for example, is they have clinical trials going on across the globe. And what they're doing is sending to my lab many of their, their patients' blood samples from all these clinical trials are coming to the lab in Manchester and we're performing these biomarker tests on very large numbers of, of samples. So we're now working with them to look at 30,000 samples every year. And that would, then we get to the answer more quickly. More quickly for AstraZeneca in their drug development program, more quickly for the academic researchers such as myself, because we want to get these tests eventually into routine practice.